there is a quick test which was specially developed for it. With the test stripes, which you can order from the number on your screen, it can be proved within a few seconds whether the AdBlue liquid was contaminated. The easiest way to carry out the test is with the AdBlue filter. It's easy to remove and it's renewed with the usual service intervals. The filter is on the underside of the truck. Pay attention while working on the exhaust gas system that the engine of the vehicle has been off for at least 5 minutes. This way you can be sure that the pressure in the exhaust gas system has been released. So that the exchange goes faster, bring the new filter pad with you for the check of the AdBlue filter. First use suitable grease for the O-rings of the new filter and for the filter case. If the AdBlue liquid comes in contact with the air for too long, it develops urea crystals. Crystals can cause blockages in the filter. The quick installation of the new filter prevents this. You should wear protective clothes and glasses when working with AdBlue. Although AdBlue is innocuous, you should still avoid contact with skin and eyes. Now loosen the filter case with a ratchet. Remove the filter case and set it aside. Now pull out the filter with an adjustable wrench. In the next step, install the new and already greased filter and screw the filter case again with the ratchet. For the next step, carry out the quick test with the strip. If you dip a test strip into the AdBlue liquid, which is still in the exchange filter case, then pay attention to whether the color of the strip changes. If the color of the test strip does not change, this means the AdBlue liquid is not contaminated. This is good because the contamination of an AdBlue liquid can lead to a defect in the whole exhaust gas system and therefore to considerable damage. Now therefore, we'll show you how the test stripe reacts if it comes in contact with contaminated AdBlue liquid. We've prepared three tests. First we test with pure AdBlue liquid we see that no color reaction takes place. The test strip is neither moistened nor dyed. Now we test with the AdBlue diesel mixture. Blue discolorations appear because the test strip chemically reacts with the hydrocarbons that are present in diesel fuel. AdBlue liquid is clearly contaminated. In the third test a strong discoloration appears. It concerns an AdBlue motor oil mix. Basically, you can conclude from the intensity and the size of the stain to the degree of the contamination. Please follow the instructions on the packaging of the test strip box. By the way, in the tip faded in below, you can read up on the instructions of the AdBlue quick test.